Bums. Uh, 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 all right. Okay. That works. Uh, that works. Uh, Hello, everybody. Uh, Sorry. Go ahead. Welcomes to uh, Cynix versus Cinema. Cynix versus Hello. Cinema. Good evening. Thank you for spending your... Uh, your favorite show. Yeah. Yeah. Your evening watching uh, horrifyingly bad movies with two degenerate stoner neckbeards. It's always fun. It's always fun watching a shitty movie with two fucking losers. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean, you know, Paul? Yeah. You know I mean? uh, so, yawn, I'm going to bed. <laughs> okay. Go to bed. Yeah, go to bed. Go your fucking ass to bed, bitch. It's past your bedtime. Your mommy's going to spank you if yeah. you stay up too late. Curl up and get in bed, sweet prince. Get in your fucking bed, you Because this movie's probably too disturbing for someone yeah, of your young age. too hardcore for your bitch ass anyway. This is definitely rated R, dude. Oh, yeah. It, I mean, it, I haven't even really seen much of it, but I just know. Yeah, we've seen, we've seen enough to know that this movie is going to scare the fucking shit out of all you bitches. Right off of you. When is the new podcast? Uh, it's probably Monday. We'll see. That's not that's not what we're here for, all right? We're here to entertain a fraction of the audience that just watched um, Andy Worski's weird yeah. Nazi versus classic liberal debate. It really wasn't even that. It was just a, a bunch of dudes arguing about what it meant to be white. What, what, how you define whiteness? How well, you define I it? I define it like this, but that doesn't make sense because of this. Because what is whiteness? How, how? I mean, we can't even get to the point where we can go, okay, that's a white dude. With a guest appearance by Corpse Midget. You're going to see lots of corpses. I don't know if any of them will be midgets. I hope so, though. But I hope there is a Corpse Midget in here. And I got to say, I know it's like uh, dangerous for the channel and shit, but I kind of hope there's some boobies snuck in here somewhere. Yeah, I hope they sneak in one pair. Of t but given... That this film seems to have been shot by a couple of nerds. I yeah. don't think they were able to talk a girl into showing her tits. But maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. Anyway. You know what? Like these these homebrewed shit movies, <coughs> I think they're better than like uh, Hollywood brewed shit movies. At least so far on this show. I've enjoyed the homebrewed shit more than How's anything we watched. Lucha Underground so far? That's amazing. It's so oh good God. that we don't have anything to say about it. That's yeah. how perfect it is. I almost is. canceled this because I'm, I wanted to binge watch it again. Zombie pools. Okay, fine. Yep, let's do it. Here you go. Have some zombie. Look at that. that. That truck is fucked up. On Like, there's blood all over that motherfucker. Yeah, what happened? You know these guys have seen some shit. You know some shit has gone down. Some hardcore shit. Evil cat better than Star Trek. Okay. You think so? That's what someone in the chat said. No. What have I'm I just done? Quoting the I don't know. What I have you done? I killed the president. I mean, it looks like you, you dropped killed the, the president. Kill us, I mean, I, I'm not sure what you did, but it that looks like you dropped matter. a grape jelly sandwich. Everyone's going to think I murdered so. him. You must have made don't one sloppy like PB and right J, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Way too way much jelly on that PB and J. Then we can worry about coming back for the body and. You've seen what I've done. You saw everything. Now you must die. What are you doing? Just put that down. What do you down. mean, what is he doing? It's pretty obvious from the Sorry, dialogue sir. what he's going to do. Did you ever watch any episodes of The American so Office? Um, yeah, I but think so, maybe. Doesn't the, didn't this other dude kind of look like a younger Artemis, version of Jim from that? I'm on your side. Um, maybe. Sorry. I don't know. Maybe I haven't yes. watched that. You haven't I think I saw one with Will Ferrell or something. Oh, yeah. Well, he's one of the characters in it. This kid. <laughs> what is this? That's an MS paint. Whoa. Good evening, you beautiful fucking neckbeards. Good evening to you, Matman89. Yeah, good evening. You need a medical supply. This is one of my that's favorite. from uh, the Return of the Living yeah. Dead movies. Yep, that's the guy that the tar zombie was in. This is an unofficial entry into that series, I guess. Oh, and the Reanimator series as well, though. Oh. Because it's Reanimator of the Living Dead. I think it's actually a end of two franchises. Can we talk about how that title doesn't make sense? Because it doesn't. Reanimator of the Living Dead. Yeah. So he's, well, no, it makes sense if he's found some other living dead and he reanimates them. Well, if there are 
already living dead. They're already animated. Well, maybe they used to be living dead. He reanimates what used to be living dead, and then he'll be a reanimator. Reanimator of the formerly living dead. That makes sense. Thank you, Scotty. Thank you, Scotty. You're a good You're an angel. Delicious home rolled cigarettes. We're gonna need these. Abigail Varner is a terrorist. Okay. Whatever you say. Good to know, sir. Good to know. Like, I, I feel like a lot of the, the Street Labs people did not come here to fucking see zombies tonight. Yeah, well, they're gonna get in the zombie spirit in a minute here. The movie is gonna cast its spell. Whoa, someone is named Zero Smith. Awesome. People are saying the music is too loud. I mean, it may well be. Hold up. The dialogue is not that loud, so... There you go. I lowered the volume. Okay. At least I hope that's what happened just now. Do, 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 do. The movie is too loud. Happy belated new year. Hoping the best for you sexy bastards. Thank you. Thank you so kindly, sir. Put the volume up. Put the volume down. Too loud. Too quiet. <laughs> too much noise. Not enough noise. In 1985, Dr. Herbert West successfully reanimated his first human specimen You're at right. Miskatonic University in Arkham, Massachusetts. Well, maybe I'll just turn the volume down Eight here. Eight months after the Miskatonic Massacre, there you go. West okay. was contacted by the United States there you military go. to secretly create... So they're really just using footage from for other films. Yeah. West the Greek. I mean, this is a continuation, all so... For the solution went solely to him. Uh -huh. West, short on the rare ingredients, needed to Mike create muted? Eventually, it doesn't no appear choice, to be. I can see yeah. the levels right here. I think I think people are. I think I'm being trolled at this point. Yeah, I think so too. The barrels from Dr. West. Oscar level acting in this film. Two, four, five tryouts and barrels. This that is not even stuff that these guys the shot. This is stuff they stole. Yeah. During which Dr. stole West TJ. Well, come on. I mean, However, they're repurposing later, it for their narrative. One of the tryouts and barrels found its way into the hands of Cypher. A technical genius by nature with an IQ of 140. At the age Whoa. of 17, he built a time machine modeled up for the infamous TARDIS of legend. From various parts, I just saw someone say it's Italy. loud as fuck, followed After by someone saying that they can't Cypher hear it. then chose to continue the work yeah. of his mentor, Dr. West. I love that shit. You're a this bastard. So he he has an IQ of 140. He must he must watch a lot of Rick and Morty. Yes, lots with an of IQ Rick and Morty. like that. Definitely the only show that challenges a person of higher IQ. I'm, there's literally a contingent of people in the chat saying it's too loud and a contingent saying it's too quiet. Just stop looking at the chat. Fuck them. I'm not gonna look at it. What if one of the chat? What if one of them is right though? Take my money, you fucks. Just split the middle. Neither one is right. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So this kid built a TARDIS at 17 years old. So it's a blending of Reanimator, Night of the Living Dead, and Doctor Who now? Uh, I guess. Cool. It's every fucking sci-fi and horror movie mixed into one. Sweet. This lab doesn't look very scientific or clean or... It looks like uh, this guy's bedroom. Yeah. And like <laughs> the turkey tray left over from Thanksgiving. Whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> this movie gave me AIDS. Oh, well, we'll just see what other diseases it gives you. Cancer, probably. Whoa. See, look, he's got a TARDIS. I see. Where he just shoves his failed. Look at look at that door on that. <coughs> thing, man, look how many circuit boards. Are yeah, on dude. It. I love how in these low budget movies they just glue a bunch of circuit boards to yeah. something to be like, look, it's sophisticated technology. You tear open a couple old VCRs and just tape the circuit <laughs> boards to your door, and you've got a TARDIS. Bam! Look at that trackball mouse he was using. Jesus Christ, who uses that? I was visiting a government storage facility. I need to turn this up. As Area 51. 
which specializes in containing strange individuals, creatures, and objects found. Was it just me, or did that voice actor sound like the living man? I was there. Um, I think it's just you. Yeah, I didn't hear it. Recently, and unfortunately, I was given the wrong prison cell number. Okay. What I found was something far more dangerous than any inmate. So they just put this zombie barrel in a what storage shed in the, the middle of nowhere? ...was what is called a trioxin canister, and is one of hundreds of canisters... Created Paul's by leaving. Dr. Paul's just like, I'm West. done with this already. Fuck this movie. Fuck life. It had been waiting in that I'm sure I missed a critical plot point. ...for someone to find it. What happened next is beyond my understanding. The creature within the barrel called out to me. This movie is kind of cringy. Mentally. No the shit. The voice in my head kept repeating, take it, until I couldn't take it. Take it. it. And against my take it. As a natural born scientist, I intended to study. A natural the born barrel. scientist? Yeah, dude, he came out of the womb being like, E equals MC square. Cool. That's when I discovered that <coughs> the very substance that gives them life, causing them to combust. Combust? A nut. I performed some experiments on the pieces that were left of the creature before discarding it, and now I'm completely convinced that this could be the greatest scientific discovery of all time. I'm reporting this channel. Barrel, no you report it for awesomeness? Yeah, C4 dude. Do they have a drop down for fucking sweetness? Has the incredible ability to reanimate dead tissue through a complex jump start of the multiple chemical and physical processes that take Man, this opening is <laughs> yeah, dude. real verbose. Yeah, man. Due to the age of the well, you know, he's got to lean pretty heavy on the barrel. exposition. It's I don't know that I really fucking believe or I understand what's going on here. He's a scientist. Yeah. He found a barrel of zombie juice. Yeah. And it's the greatest fucking discovery of all time. Because it brings back dead bodies? Like, why that? I mean, that'd be a pretty cool discovery, but why is it the greatest? To recreate it. Okay, now things are happening. Alarms are going off. Seizure warning. Emergency news broadcast detected. Ugh. Oh, what now? That's probably the only female Computer. you're gonna get in this movie. The signal on the viewing monitor. Computer. Why does that thing throw off sparks? I don't know, because it's fucking- he's a that. mad scientist, dude. That's how he rolls. I wish someone would reanimate Paul. Yeah. What? You low- you low-key tonight, Paul. What do you mean I'm low-key tonight? You low-key tonight, Paul. Dude, I showed up with fucking zombies on the brain, dude. Yeah, I think the audio mixing? Yeah, I mean, I don't think that's us. I think this movie just has really shitty sound mixing, so there's really no ideal volume at which we can listen to it where you're gonna fucking have the experience you want. hasn't left this room since I brought it in here. That can only mean there's a second barrel out there somewhere. Oh, no! A second barrel! it is, it's contaminating their water. It's only a matter of time before that. This guy's so fucking brilliant. Run. Yeah, he talks to himself like Sherlock Holmes. He must be the most. He must fucking watch more Rick and Morty than anyone you've ever seen in your fucking life. Oh, dude, he understands it better than anybody, too. He understands it better than the fucking show's creators. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but this is actually a shitty movie. <laughs> yeah. People are like, this movie sucks. It's like, yeah. Uh, yeah, welcome. Welcome to the point. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, he's got some little 14 year old coming oh, to his weird. He's a fucking 14 year old. No, nah, he looks like he's probably at least 16. Well, please come in. That's like his kid brother or something. Yeah, why is there like a. Yeah, he looks 12 or 13. Why is he a salesman already? What kind of universe is this? This is Troxen Barrel number 57. By stealing and Number 57? Opening. I thought there was only one more out there. What the fuck? Criminal charges. Hey, if it's any consolation, I didn't This looks like something open. Channel Awesome would have made seven years ago. I see. Considering your criminal <laughs> I mean, that, you're kind of an insult to Channel Awesome seven years ago. Your actions here. 
but in return, he must provide us with certain services. What? Oh, really? Well, what He's trying to layer mind? this epic music Why behind this mundane, happen? boring conversation, and it ain't working. You accept. Do you accept? Do 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 do. You don't leave me with many options, do you? What? Are you guys gonna watch the sequel to Pokemon the first movie, Pokemon Mewtwo Returns? I must warn you now that the information I'm about to tell you. Is of national security. All right, national security. You are to speak of this to no Why one. does this 13-year-old have national say. secrets? Will be taken. Hey, TJ and Paul, I made guy, a movie huh? called The Other Side, and it's pretty bad. I think you guys would have a good time because watching it as long as you're high. Well, maybe we'll check it out. Uh, yeah, go ahead and, and send that to me on my Twitter or something, we'll and I'll take a look. List. I'll take a look and see if it's worthy of being added to our list of terrible movies. By one of these things. So uh, are we going to watch the Pokemon the sequel? No. Zombie now? In layman's terms... I don't know, we might fuck, whatever. Yeah, never say never. Well, what do you want me to do about it? We're in need of a cure. I See, goddammit, I fucking Sorry. turned away for a minute and all these Here's plot developments have happened. <laughs> Trust me, it's just been one long conversation. But what has been conveyed by that conversation? Alright, well, maybe if we shut up and listen. Alright, let's give it like 60 seconds of uninterrupted fucking silence. Alright. Okay. Starting now. Well, of all the people in the world to pick from, why me? Yep. Okay. Because the moment you stole Barrel 57, we have been tracking you, learning about you. With an IQ of 140, you're more than qualified to continue Dr. West's work. Your interest in drugs and only... Help matters. I see. Well, where do I start? These are let's let's not the let the movie. Okay, yeah. yeah let's, a, let's, let's, let's not talking. do that. Let's just keep let's talking. Only, you know what? <laughs> that, that, that initial reaction what? that we had, where we what were just going to talk over every frame of this movie. Let's concerned. go with that. Yeah, yeah let's go with that first. Let's do instance. that. Time progresses. He will begin to decompose. Holy <laughs> shit! Also, McClane. If you do not find a cure soon, all right, zombies. Is that an actual female back there? Oh, sweet. Oh yeah, I'm eating your head giblets. Oh, that's not a girl. That's just another boy. Was that a- was that- I think. I think it was a chick. I don't think it was. It was either a chick or a soy boy, dude. I think it was a soy boy. How do I get the heck out of here? You opened the door you just fucking walked into. Two days later. Two days later than that boring conversation, some other stuff is gonna happen. Another boring conversation, or is he gonna have a conversation with himself again this time? He's gonna look through this microscope and see some uh, shit. My 140 IQ is more than high enough to understand this trioxin. I don't understand why I can't figure it out. Will you let Ben use the DP name? I used to dislike him, but now I feel surry for him. Surry? That's being discussed. Just fucking, you know, that's between me and Ben. Negotiations are underway. Stay tuned. You guys need to watch a Neil Breen movie. We actually did watch, uh... What was it? You Fateful know, Findings yeah. uh, as a DP commentary. The plot is- the plot is flawless. How don't you love it? Dude, I- I, I gotta get salty here for a fucking second, dude. I, I, hate, it. I hate people that can't come over here and just watch a dumbass fucking lame movie with us and they just gotta be like, Ben and fucking DP and fucking... It's just like, can you take a breath and just chill out and watch a stupid fucking zombie movie for five seconds with us, please? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're not gonna answer questions unrelated to movies or this movie. Like That's ridiculous. the new rule. We'll still let you be on the screen, because we can't stop that, but, you know. It's just lame. I'm not going to answer what I thought about Trump or any of that stupid shit. There's a different channel where I do that kind of stuff. That kid's hair looks like a penis. I think you really just want to see dicks everywhere. I read the last. I didn't see a penis, and I'm a penis-seeing motherfucker. You must be more dick hungry than me. Tells me these notes were see, I don't, I, I don't care about, care about Trump winning in 2020. We're, t we're watching this movie. <laughs> we're watching <laughs> zombies now. <laughs> Maybe Trump will show up in this movie. We don't know. I mean, the kid did say he killed the president in the beginning of the movie. So. Do a little bit of guesswork here and there, due to the damage. 
man. <laughs> <laughs> this movie sucks. Uh, <laughs> I was wondering when we started watching this. Oh wait. So how did I how did you stumble across this lost masterpiece? <coughs> <coughs> We told uh, most trade secret. Yeah, oh, yeah <laughs> trade yeah. secret. Yeah. <coughs> Paul, have you indoctrinated TJ in the blubberhood? Your fat supremacist group. Yeah, uh, dude, you, you haven't heard about the blubberhood yet. I don't think he's. I, I think he thinks I'm not fat enough, and he's pissed at me for dieting. So. No, no, you're still in the blubberhood now, even if you don't want to be. Damn. Every fat man is a blubber brother. But. <laughs> This explains why the contents of the barrel doesn't have this distinctive... Does it explain why this movie sucks so bad? Well, Man, dude, a lot of effort went into this, too. I know. How long is this movie? You do not want to know. You don't want to know, man. You just want to fucking... You just want to sit there and wait. Yep, because honestly, it's gonna be better that way. I thought Paul was supposed to have the dick obsession. <laughs> well, you know, Paul loves dick. What are you gonna do? I do not, dude. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Paul, come watch Antichrist with Shayra and I on the deadly analysis on Sunday. Antichrist? Yep. They want to watch Antichrist with you and Shayra, apparently. Okay. Well, uh... Right, right to Paul. Yeah, or write to me, his agent. Included with Doctor. I get watching Snake shitty movies for fun, but this is too much. Issue. Then fucking cash Not out your chips and go. Then bitch. yeah, man. Like if you can't, you hang. can't hang with this. This ain't even the worst shit we've watched. No, man. This is middle middle of the ground bad. Yeah. What do you think of Return of the Living Dead? Uh, it's great, brilliant movie. Yeah, it's Love awesome. It. Love it. Manages to be scary and funny. Which is a combo you don't see often, if at all. Does the other dork with the longer hair look like the young kind from Hot Tub Time Machine to you guys? Huh? I don't know what the fuck you were trying to ask, but try again. I don't think anybody else does either. That was bullshit. Why don't you just throw two dollars down the fucking toilet next <laughs> time? <laughs> Actually, never mind. Yeah, keep, keep shut up, Paul. Keep spewing nonsensical nonsense. What are you fucking nonsense talking about? Let him let him try fifteen times at two dollars a pop. Did guy with long hair look wow. like beard from guy? <laughs> Shit! I was wondering if this was gonna be more of like a uh, devil's gift sort of experience. Yeah. Or more of like a. Um, you know, evil cat kind of experience. This is definitely and a devil's gift. this is definitely gift. more of a devil's gift. Yes, yes, the devil has dropped another gift on us. Because <laughs> there's some movies that it's like, they're so bad that we could just sit here and riff on them. Yeah. Endlessly. And then there's some that are just like this, where you almost have to find other things to talk about and just kind of pay <laughs> passing attention to it. <laughs> yep. Like, there's really no no way how around. How much it. of this movie is set in this fucking room? Like, all I keep imagining is, can you imagine being? I hate this how the fucking bubbles go above the goddamn line of the liquid. Well, whatever, TJ. They're they're gas bubbles coming up. No, <laughs> yes, it's they're gas bubbles. Bull ass. Can you imagine shit. being one of this kid's like friends and family that had to sit through this and pretend oh. that they fucking liked it when he showed everybody? Yeah, like when he looked. showed his mom and yeah. she has to be like, "Oh, sweet, it was really good, sweet." And his mom's You're like, "Very yeah. talented." I'll filmmaker. call the neighbors over and I'll get Aunt Sheila on the phone and we'll get Grandma down here. The whole fucking family, I guarantee you, had to watch this. Piece showed of up shit. and they all had and to be probably, like, very encouraging. Like all the people. Well, in it too, their okay, families okay. probably came. It was probably a big had thing. Had I hope that after everyone was done with their effusive praise, his well, asshole uh, Uncle Frank nice. was like, "Well, I thought it fucking Thanks. sucked. It was boring." So tell me, what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Well, oh my God, this I again, I man! With, with a, all they did is this is the on. same fucking scene with a well, different now. kid with a different dumbass haircut. Yep. Boo! I was just Boo! Boo! <laughs> Would you guys consider doing Incredible. some cooking videos? You've created Dr. West's uh, formula perfectly. I don't know, maybe. Well, I did the best I What's could. What's the best but movie? There was some guesswork oh involved, shit. Though. What's the best movie of all time and the worst best Her movie of all time? Oh, best worst and worst um, best. Well, what do you mean? I don't I've know. I've been man. trying to locate Dr. West. Best worst time. movie. Uh, and through sheer luck, worst I best tracked him movie. down to an abandoned medical supply warehouse. However, oh, fuck. 
When We're I gonna have to think about that. Yeah, yeah. we'll get back. Put to a you. pin but in that. Thanks in for the super chat. And in his haste, he left something behind. I might say Toxic Avenger is one of the two, but I don't know. Dude, I think Troll Two belongs as one of the two. That's uh, yeah, I don't know, but if, is it the best worst or is yes. it the worst this best? This contains some of Doctor. It's the best worst. Equipment anchor notes. Yeah, okay. I'm sure this will help you with your work. Do you like the movie True Romance? Uh, yeah, I like it all right. Um, I dig it. Yeah, this should. It's not one that I go back and watch a ton of times. I feel yeah, like I haven't found myself super compelled to rewatch it, but I remember liking it enough the first time I saw it. I know. I'm working on it. I just have to finish the formula first. What is this? It's just a conversation between him and oh a dorky-looking kid. Get the fuck out of here! Don't worry, it won't be long I mean, now. can you imagine, uh, dude? This movie thinks it's way cooler than it is. This kid thinks his dialogue is hot shit. People are gonna want to hear these fucking long, boring, expository explanations of the plot. And he's wrong. Like, it's just a bunch of fucking, like, West MD, dude. Just a bunch of shots of That's his fucking bedroom. Fucking briefcase of the Herbert West right now. Is it? Yeah. Where's the zombies? The, oh, the dude, movie actually turns you into a zombie. There's a little bit of zombie juice in there still. Look at it. <laughs> I want to drink it. Opinion on Kill Bill? I like Kill Bill. I fucking hate it. Paul hates it. No, I'm kidding. I like it. Paul loves it. Well, maybe not loves, but he likes it. Cynics versus Funky Forest. What do you guys think? I don't know what Funky Forest is. Yeah, we'll look into it. Any, If you guys have any movie suggestions for this, the yeah. criteria is it has to be already on YouTube. Yep. If you can find any bad movie on, that's already on YouTube and you want to send it to us, we're more than willing to take a fucking look at it. You can write to me on my Twitter. You can write to, uh, you can at Paul on the Cinema for Cynics Twitter, whatever you want. Yep, that'll work. Write us on the uh, Cinema for Cynics Facebook. <laughs> There's ways to get in touch with both of us. But we're not going to remember that. Oh my God, dude, this kid is, I'm, I, I've been letting you talk and I've been trying to watch what's going on and he's just been rummaging through this fucking doctor's bag for like what feels like eight minutes. Why would you fucking even bother watching this? I don't know. I mean, it's pretty evident that nothing is going to happen. I don't know. Every once in a while we're going to get some zombie shit, but it's going to be <laughs> very sparsely sprinkled throughout mostly a movie like this. How does he play the keyboard on the wall like that? You know, I was wondering that as well. Maybe he just puts it there when he's not playing it. Or maybe it's part of some sort of science bullshit. He probably just hung it up on the wall because it has lights that flash. And he was oh, like, it looks like technology! Yeah, anything that I can get from the thrift store that looks like technology, I'll put in here. I mean, I guess a keyboard is technology. Someone wants to know your favorite video game, Paul. My favorite video game, like, of all time? I, I always say Diablo 1. I don't know if it's actually 100% true, because there's some other contenders, but just go with Diablo 1. Paul doesn't like being asked his favorite of things anyway. Yeah. Motherfucker, are you still just fucking around with this green liquid? Do something! Hey, here's an idea. If you're gonna make a movie, like, have things happen. In yeah, something should happen in the movie. Eventually, you know? Not like that this nobody wants to watch you fucking brew up. It's your little glow fucking potion. bottle of absinthe and shit. Who cares? Babylon 5 is better than Star Trek. I think that case could be made, honestly. Babylon 5 was a pretty fucking awesome show. I don't agree with that, Computer. but I think you could make an argument. Use the temporal flux protocol to detect the next human death ending with all organs intact. Someone is recommending a movie called Poultry Geist. Is it on YouTube? I've told you the criteria. Poultry geist. Motherfucker, will you ever shut up, TJ? Okay, well, the alternative to hearing my dumbass fucking voice is watching this piece of shit. Yeah, so, which, I mean, we tuned out a while back and, and like, I was almost lulled to sleep by the fucking listless conversation that was going on. <coughs> I'm just hoping that we get to see some cool fucking zombie shit at some point. 
That's what I'm holding out for. We p we moved around in this movie and saw enough scenes to convince us to add it to our list. So they gotta be in here somewhere. Dude, I hope the Miskatonic University morgue doesn't just look like this kid's bedroom. Okay. Okay, no, it's his dad's shed. Yep, it's his dad's storage shed. At least he's doing something cool. Alright, yeah, okay, so there's a dead body. And holy shit, is that an actual adult? Is it? Yeah, and a, a character that's actually being portrayed by an adult. That's See, pretty cool. That's just one more person that invited people to the fucking... That probably is his fucking dad. All I can think about is the premiere of this movie. The the world premiere where everybody's like, Oh, you're so proud. You know, Jimmy did a movie? And we're gonna go see it on Saturday night. He's gonna screen it for all of us. Please watch Amusement. It meets the on YouTube criteria. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna start writing these goddamn suggestions down since you people will not cease with them. Where's a fucking pen? Up your ass, TJ. Right up your fucking butthole, TJ. That's where you'll find a pen. A you, pin. Know, you know damn well there's no room for a pen in my bottle. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I can't find a pen, so fuck you guys. TJ, I'm not gay, but I really want to have sex with you. Or do sex with you. Okay. Do sex. <sighs> okay, it's really cool that you made this little morgue set, and I could forgive how unconvincing it is, but you have to fucking do something with it. I'll see you tomorrow. Like, okay. anything. They're gonna do nothing with it. Do something with it, please. <laughs> We're not gonna watch that particular film. Sorry. I think that that one would be playing with fire. <laughs> Which film? Night, uh, it's a f movie entitled Gay Niggers from Outer Space. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, that just sounds like flag bait. Yep. Whoa. Okay, so the fucking TARDIS is gonna... Alright, the retardus is, is here. Yeah. I'm glad that the TARDIS casts a shadow. Does that make sense? God, so he's just like a Here, Mary Doctor, Sue. Doctor Boring is it, yes, it, it's a total Mary Sue. Yeah. This, this is the clearly the kid who wrote this film. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I would I be mean, shocked if it if isn't. he's if he's not. I mean, he is. This is a Mary Sue. This is a whole like the whole because he's constantly referring to his 140 IQ. Yeah, this this is this kid's vanity project of like I'm fucking super smart and yeah. super awesome, and he's here's got my all movie these, where I'm the hero. Yeah, he's got all these like entry level science project kind of like sciencey shit. He's got a few beakers and a fucking you know microscope, so he's like, yep, I know the movie I'm gonna make. I'm a fucking omnipotent scientist with a 140 IQ and a go anywhere in the universe at any time door. I'm surprised he didn't make it like 220 or something. I'm surprised that he didn't make it watchable. <laughs> I'm not surprised about that at all. No, I am. Like, it's like at least he, like, you know, a real teenage boy with the power to do whatever he wanted and no limitations would do something. All right, so hold on. He just injected this motherfucker. So. Right, this dude with fucking shitty ass Halloween makeup on his face that's laying there pretending to be a dead body. He just yep. Okay. What are your predictions for how this ends? I think he's gonna wake up and try and attack him, and he's gonna barely escape out of the TARDIS. I'm in for. I mean, I think they mean this whole movie. Oh, I thought they meant this scene. How does this end? I don't even know how it's begun. So <laughs> true enough. But I think that this scene is clearly going to... That dork in the fucking cargo shorts is going to wake up and come after him. Trick or Treat 1986 is the perfect kind of bad and contains cameos from Ozzy and Gene Simmons. Is it on YouTube? That's the question. Just yeah, start adding that to your fucking process. list. Yeah, let us... When you give us a movie recommendation, let us know that it's on YouTube. Yep. Will you guys ever do Vimeo specials for popular movies again? Yes. I don't know if it'd be Vimeo necessarily, but we will you know find you some way of you know delivering what, what we're doing now for movies that you might actually recognize. <laughs> <laughs> he 
he laughed at the end, dude. He fucking laughed at the end, and they kept the tape. He totally laughed. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> That's a pussy ass little gun. You gotta shoot him in the head, dude. Oh, wait. If these are Return of the Living Dead zombies, nothing kills them. Right. Or one bullet that to the chest. That gun blew a giant hole and killed a zombie. Come on. They shot him in the chest. This Come kid on. thinks he's dashing and debonair in this movie, dude, with that little pistol and shit. Yeah, he's hardcore. What a dork. Alright, if that zombie is really dead, this movie officially totally sucks. <laughs> what? <sighs> what? I don't know. All you gotta do is kill the zombie and shoot it in the chest? With the with the world's most fucking sissified, pussified little fucking purse pistol. Yesterday was you couldn't even kill a toddler with that gun. <laughs> Bullshit! I know, I know dude. Bullshit! <laughs> Boo! Boo! <sighs> this movie. <laughs> I mean, maybe it was explained why that gun can kill a zombie, and I just wasn't listening because it's all boring expository fucking diarrhea. <coughs> I hope this kid doesn't see us do this and be like, they're making fun of my movie, oh, DMCA. I mean, I have a feeling this kid is probably in his 30s and wishes he didn't. Make this. Make this, yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. No offense. No. no They're no. just gonna use- You haven't earned that. Yeah, he's gonna you use- You haven't earned that. He's gonna use the music from Return of the Living Dead. Boo. Hey, have y'all watched the movie The Void? I think Paul said he watched it. Ah, uh, yes, I've seen it. It's kinda cool. Would you beat this kid up and steal his lunch? Uh, whatever the- I mean, no. Whatever this kid's eating, I don't want any of. I wish we were watching The Void right now. Should we kind of are? You should watch <laughs> Muhammad, The Last Prophet. It's on YouTube. I think that might. Okay, you guys are trying to get us in trouble with this shit. What a fucking ripoff artist. Fuck you, kid. Never Ending Story 3 meets the YouTube criteria. It's in nine parts on YouTube. Dude, this is one of the best fucking horror scores ever written. This is one of the most just like memorable, cool fucking horror movie, uh, scores, sequences, yeah. like, in history. And this kid has put it behind him eye-droppering green shit from one beaker to a little glass and looking at it. <laughs> Fuck this kid. Uh, you know, be, you, the, the reason that that fucking score is great in Return of the Living Dead is, is it mimics the energy of the film. Shit's constantly unfolding. It's got this paranoid kind of feel to it. That's why it's great. This is just bullshit. What is he doing? He's gonna he's gonna layer this music over him pacing back and forth and talking into a walkie-talkie. <clears throat> Someone's saying that Never Ending Story 3 meets the criteria of being on YouTube, but it's in nine parts on YouTube. That movie is legitimately awful. I don't know if it's in a playlist. We might could do it. Yeah. I think Disney owns that though, so I'm kind of reluctant. But I mean, I guess if it's already on YouTube, maybe. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, kid, you almost made me spit fucking Red Bull on my keyboard. Fuck you. That stupid Dude. fucking science. That's how you wrap up the. Wow. Well, yeah, that stupid thing some, that was something on. Something on a fucking dude business yeah. cocksucker's desk. From the 80s, too. Yeah. Fuck some you. Some 80s businessman's little desk toy. And it's, now he's gonna do his fucking steampunk cosplay. Yep. This is where I show how calm I am under fire. <laughs> and what a great surgeon I am. And how I put my gloves on like a man that clearly has 140 IQ. So brilliant. The violin music behind me will evoke a Doctor Who slash Sherlock Holmes vibe. What a dumb fucking dork. I hate this movie, kid. I hate that you made it. It's clear why you made it. 
I hope that nobody gave you pussy because of this in your little town. Emergency and you notice there's no girls in this movie. Emergency yeah, because no girls would go anywhere near this. <laughs> there's not a, a single pole. vagina <laughs> no. present in this fucking movie. Unless that androgynous kid from earlier was a girl, which I'm not convinced. <laughs> He's making weaponized cringe. Yeah, dude, you're right. He's, dude. he's getting closer. Oh wait, there's a vagina. Uh, okay. I I guess so. Okay. Whoa. Okay. 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 I spoke too soon. Is that Rebel Wilson? What? No, it isn't. No. What? Why would the reporter be allowed that close to toxic waste? <clears throat> Why would the reporter be? Less so wait, audible than the Geiger counter that's 20 feet behind her. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that be happening? I mean, there's these guys in these fucking radiation suits right there. Yeah. But then 10 feet away, she could just yeah. stand unharmed. I mean, what the fuck sense does that make? Okay. <laughs> Everybody's saying it's his mom. I bet this is this kid's mom. I think you're right. I'm pretty sure that you're right. All right, so she's speaking into a microphone, and yet there's no sound. Yeah, it sounds like she's being recorded from wherever she's being shot, and the Geiger counter has clearly been layered in and should be inaudible at this point. And it's, like, louder than she is. Listen to it. We need to keep an eye on those Sounds like this bitch has, like, a popcorn machine in her belly or some shit. <laughs> Listen. You know, we all know that body's gonna come to life and attack, so I know. why can don't we, we just, can we just get to that? How much did this guy pay his mom to be the reporter? I don't know. Not enough. Okay. Okay. There we go. Ra, I'm a zombie. Ra, ooh, I'm a zombie. What a Ra. fucking inept, <laughs> retarded zombie. All round and round the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. And now back to this dork, looking at liquids and vials. Because that's awesome. When the girls at school see this film, they will see how a scientific man can also be a man of action. A sexy man. <laughs> Fuck you, kid! Tried to convince his teacher to let him show it in class yeah. and shit. For my project, I created a film. Collab with Hugo and Jake watching a Neil Breen movie. Entry 142. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I've yeah, it might be fun. It. I like those guys. Yeah, the they cure, got good comedic they timing and shit. They quick on their feet. We can do it. This is, is bad. No shit, Sherlock. The formula oh my God. remains untested, which is exactly why I created my current experiment. After countless hours, he's of still research, explaining his experiment to yeah, us. Yep, that's right, guy. He was a scientist Buddy dude, bring on the zombies. Enhance the human brain. By Howard Therefore, Phillips, I get it. Like Howard Phillips Lovecraft, clever. Intact, even after ha ha ha. Death. The brain is crucial to my experiments, since my goal is to bring someone back with all morals and personality traits intact. Morals? His final invention was a device he called the preservation machine, which is going to bring back known moral as the first zombies. Chamber ever made. Later, this is what he would be buried in, with the hopes that, that one would be a better would name be for this film. Moral zombies. Pursuits. You should watch Faster His Pussycat Kill Kill. kill. It's a classic death. film, and Quentin Tarantino and is said to be directing a remake of it. How many movies is Quentin Tarantino directing right now? He's like, yeah, doing no, his new movie and Star Trek and Faster Pussycat Kill Kill, all at the same time. I can only hope that his mechanical marvel has stood the It's kind of funny time. that his character is trying to reanimate the dead when he's actually deanimating the living. <laughs> <laughs> if you have followed my instructions 
Longtime fan of TJ here. First time watching one of these live. Just want to say thanks for all the content you guys have been putting out. I love suffering through bad movies with people that aren't fucking brain dead. Well, thank you. I hope you uh, subscribe and tune in regularly. Oh, my God. TJ. We do. You almost killed me. We're going to do these every other Thursday. I'm glad you liked it. That kid kind of reminds me of Jerry from Rick and Morty. Very big loser like vibe. Well, he watches a lot of Rick and Morty. Before you are allowed to access what other my what other body. shows could possibly encapsulate sure his? Well, he obviously watches Doctor Who as well. So I'm no a problem. sapiosexual. I wish you good luck. What? And again, you've never heard of sapiosexuality, TJ? Where is? Where is? Where did you see that? It's true, dude. There are people out there that call themselves sapiosexuals. <laughs> no, I, I know. That's like people who are only attracted to smart people, right? Yeah. There. No. 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 They're not attracted to smart people, they're attracted to intelligence. Oh, to intelligence itself. Yes. Okay. So if you're just like the most hideous blob of a cancerous, cantankerous, fucking fat, disgusting, disease-ridden piece of shit, but you're hella smart, there are bitches out there that purport they would fuck you. Cool. Now, I don't think that that actually happens in practice. I think everybody Wouldn't wants- Wouldn't those bitches just be hanging out outside of, like, Mensa locations and be like, Yeah, let's we'll see who comes out. Yeah, you'd think. I want to see these sapiosexuals standing outside of a Mensa meeting and just fuck the ugliest dude there. Sapiosexual. This will show the girls how intelligent I am. Jesus cross in the top left of his room. Of course he wants moral zombies. Yeah, I'm getting a really repressed Christian vibe from this kid. I want to bring zombies back with all their morals intact. I need zombies that love Jesus. Oh, great. It's another fucking lame-ass prop. All right. I mean, that prop honestly doesn't look too bad for this movie. If this movie had things happening, I could forgive the shitty effects. I could be like, okay, it's just some low-budget yeah, no fun. But, you know, it's like so this, bad, though, that it's... The <laughs> evil cat had fucking insanely bad effects, but whatever. Yeah, like, this movie is more competent than the evil cat, but way less fun to watch. Yep. Really sad. This is going to have a Christian message at the end. Someone's calling it. You think so? We'll see. Someone in the chat's calling it. We'll see. See if they work some God bothering in there. Okay. I spent a lot of money on this prop. <laughs> yep. Security Gotta alert. make sure to show it off. Security alert. I had to buy three doll gang candles and burn them on top of it. Proceed to nearest exit. Have a nice day. Uh. Nah, nah, nah. Bad movie alert. Bad movie alert. What? Was that supposed to be a joke? Okay, yeah, we were supposed to laugh at that clearly. So that right. there's a there's a joke that just absolutely was a lame duck. It's like, why would he bother? Oh my god. You know, just don't even, just don't even do an explosion there. You know what I mean? Like, if you ain't, if you can't pull it off, just don't do it. Oh, why am I giving this fucking guy advice? I'll say it again because you know, I think you missed my last donation. Nice hair, Paul. They like your hair. Oh, thank you. Uh, you, you know, um, the, the, one of the only things you can do watching these movies is give unsolicited advice about how to just not basically fail at making a movie. From the for, oh, so, so from that music, we were supposed to be giggling through that whole sequence, man. I was. I thought it was funny. All the way through that. What is? That's the TARDIS music. This is not oh, a that's music. The TARDIS sound, sound effect. Yeah. So he's just ripping that off of fucking Doctor Who. Yes. I mean, While we look out into the most boring fucking feel. Okay, okay, now something's happening. He ripped off all these movies, but he didn't rip off any of the things that made them good. Is that another adult? I can't tell yet. Hurry. Um, <laughs> because shame on him if it is. I, I don't know. It looks like I mean, maybe a late you know, teenager. Late teens, eight, early twenties. Yeah. Yeah, you know. All right. I guess he's forgiven. This thing should be telling me where he is. The calculation this is probably his older correct, brother or some shit. Yeah. This confounded thing never wants to work. Well, he's given the most dynamic oh, acting up. performance so far. 
What is this? What is that? Is that audio from the movie? Something about slapping people? What? Anyway, Not again. Not again! Is that supposed to be the voice of his watch? I can't tell. I, I, I thought, I, I I thought, thought like, something was coming yeah. in from elsewhere. Yeah, I really did, too. What a weird piece of audio mixing. God. That was weird. That was weird. People are saying Dyrus. He kind of does look like Dyrus. Uh... We are not even halfway through. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. All right, man. All right, then. What'd you tell me one time? You're on Mr. Toad's wild fucking ride. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> so. You're strapped in, bitch. You're on Mr. Toad's mild ride yeah. now. Oh, oh, my God. You should watch The Real Reanimator by Stuart Gordon. This is a ripoff of... It's a really fun, interesting, Lovecraft-inspired film. No, this is a rip-off of several different yeah. franchises, and I've we've talked it. about it. And actually, there's they even used clips from it earlier in this movie you probably didn't see. <sighs> if I have to look at one more goddamn vial of fucking glowing liquid, I'm gonna shoot myself in the fucking head. He had to find a bunch of scenes to use it in, because he can only buy it in bulk. So he's like, well, I paid all this money for this glowy liquid. <sighs> And, put it everywhere. and now for some blue glowy liquid. Re reanimator. Geiger counter for best dialogue. So far, yes. I don't know. His mom did a good job. Is that a dildo on his wall? Is it? I thought I saw a dildo. I think it was actually a model submarine or some shit, but... I choose to believe it was a dildo. Why didn't you put some... Um, it doesn't matter. It only hit the flat surface in front of him anyway. Yeah, and what was that supposed to have hit? I don't know. The camera? Uh, does he have a force field? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Wait a minute. So you're a fucking 140 IQ doctor, and your answer to I've got blood on my hands is to pick up a dirty towel off the floor in your bedroom and wipe... Like, what? I just don't even understand. You know what I really don't understand? Why would you d do that right over your computer? Yeah, it's like by your keyboard and shit. You know what I really don't understand, though, is like, why did he use this room for this set instead of that room he used HB earlier for the morgue? My previous suspicion it's a way more sterile looking environment. Correct. The body of definitely would pass easier for a lab destroyed. than your bedroom. Due to the failure of multiple parts of his machine. However, the machine in before he finds true love in one of the zombies, the love interest of the film. I can't usually. wait. No, because no fact, chick his age was involved in this. The head showed the brain to be There's no way. Intact and so. Functional. I have connected the brain directly into the central command His console, shirt is not stained. What the fuck? What do you mean? A continuity error in this masterpiece? <laughs> Call the fucking press. Yeah. Reanimator of the now, Living Dead is not the masterpiece we all thought it was, huh, guys? There goes nothing. Switching to hands-free mode. Switching to hands-free mode. Why don't you just stay in hands-free mode? Why would you ever want to pick that clunky piece of shit up? <laughs> Now injecting 10 cc's of Formula A into the brain stem. Into the brain stem. Man. This guy has such a cocky face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this dude reminds me of uh, this gay conservative Christian that I used to go to high school with that was like super autistic and always argued with everybody. My IQ is simply higher. Yeah, he, did, he did like this presentation for the class where he showed us how to bake fucking cookies. Listen. And he's like, it's so simple. Even someone with the IQ of Bill Clinton could do it. <laughs> <laughs> Good joke, kid. It was like, I was like, uh. Watch up, Shadamash. I hate Bill Clinton because I'm a conservative. Even though I'm obviously gay. Brains, 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 brains. Oh shit, all it wants is brains. Where's its morals? All I want is brains, brains. 
Brains, brains, brains. All right, but what happens when he injects serum B? And is now currently in the same state as the president. That brought it back from the dead. But this will give it true life. All right. Now injecting All right. See what you got. Uh, everything's been culminating in this, kid. So make something cool. Yep. Blah, blah, blah. And you inject it. It's supposed to make it have morals. Let's go. Give it the morals. Moral juice activate. This kid's a total fucking virgin, and I'm willing to bet he's going to be a loser 30 plus year old virgin. After making this movie, any chick he shows this to is going to jump right on that cock, dude. You are incorrect. Okay. 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 What's it going to think now? Jesus is Lord. Oh my god. He's Help. Me. Yeah, no shit. This yeah. appears to have coherent thought. Yet, a final conclusion is yet to be made. More tests must be performed. Okay. This is the public access TV movie of the week. The subject How is it reading a heartbeat with no heart? That's a good question. Why is there a heart monitor beeping in the background? destroyed, such as hearing and speaking. However, with the aid of the computer, because it sounds more science -y. Yeah, dude. Translated for me to understand. Because science. Like, yeah, there is a heart rate. It's, it's even in the background. Uh. <laughs> yes. Science, yes. <clears throat> Is it just gonna say yes again? Riveting. Oh my god. Machine dude. creatures. A gun. Machine creatures gun. Oh, okay. Obviously. I guess it says brain wave activity. But it also says heart rate in one of those corners. Yeah, heart 117. Does it say heart? I can't read yeah, it. Yeah, it does. Damn. There's no heart, dude. Just like this movie yeah. has no heart and no brain. Thought processes. Kill me. Yeah, no shit. I'm a one eyed skull with a little <laughs> bit of fucking brain, like a little fucking brain stem hanging out the back of me. Kill me, you dumb fuck. Or at least let me eat your brain. Why? What do you mean, why? Because I'm a head on a stick. Wow. <laughs> it's real dramatic, you know? Yeah. It includes the little comic book ellipses and yeah. shit. I'm it, sorry. It types like a 13 year old girl on a Tumblr account or something. Everything's gotten From the lips. Beyond, send me back to heaven. <laughs> okay, man, dude, that's something. So he's got glowy red juice. I'm so sorry, Crawford. The glowy red juice kills the zombies. Okay. Glowy yeah, green juice time. makes you a zombie. Glowy blue juice Your makes you a thinking zombie. And going red. red juice makes you die. Okay. That must have been what he coated that bullet in earlier that explains why he killed that. I'm sorry I brought back your fucking horribly... <laughs> Whatever. I don't even care anymore. How does the thought processor read ellipses? I don't know. It's got a built-in drama feature. Dot, dot, dot. Kill, dot, dot, dot. Me, dot, dot, dot. Darkness surrounds me, dot, dot, dot. TJ, you're just jealous. You're not a brilliant scientist like this 15-year-old. You're right. My mascara runs down my cheeks, dot, dot, dot. You are not alone. Oh, dude, some, dude, he was right. He was 
right, this is gonna turn into a fucking Jesus. Oh, this is the most powerful moment of my performance. It just collapses into his chair. This is how I'm gonna tell all the kids about Christ at school. They like zombies. I'm gonna teach them about Jesus. <laughs> the greatest zombie okay, of all. Listen, Artemis, we really can't keep meeting like this. Before. That's not Artemis, bitch. Cypher, I don't have much time. Cypher? I broke this thing, and unfortunately, Wait a minute. his it name has is Cypher. My DNA, and I don't know how to take it. I can jump at any minute. That's a, that's so I'm strapped for time. Jabbering. What? What are you talking about? Who are you? That's not important right now. <laughs> Listen, I need to speak Nothing with has you. been so far, so yeah. <laughs> Sounds in what keeping with the film. <laughs> Your life is in danger, Cypher. You have no idea how far I've come to tell you all of this. All of what? Passion. What are you trying to tell me? Darkness. <laughs> yep, the yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, he's going to... Alright, well, that's the end. Goodbye. No, that's just how he keeps us tantalized until the end, which is probably only about halfway. I'm tantalized. I'm tantalized as what? fuck right don't now. You, don't, don't you don't you want to know what that dude was going to sell him? Cypher well, rage. Stay tuned for the next fucking 60 minutes to the find final out. Final day. Thank God. This movie's already making me believe in Jesus. Shark. Mole. Mole shark. Buh. <laughs> Cypher Cringe, dude. That's his name. <laughs> Cypher. Cypher Cringe. Cypher Rage's descent ancestor. That's what it would be. I want to hear his mom just come in like, Herman, clean up his fucking mess. I told you to quit dinking around with that camera and do your homework now. Mom, I already did all my homework. Now, I don't want to hear any lip from you, Mr. Man. I've got an IQ of 140, Mom. Well, you may have an IQ of 140, Mr. Man, but you and your father and I pay the bills in this uh, home, okay? Hello, Artemis. This is Cypher. Not once I make I it big in Hollywood with my awesome movie, movie, Mom. Well, when that happens, Excellent. you can do okay, whatever you want. But answer. right now, you're going to clean this room. It's part of the set, Mom. It's part of the set. Oh, this cluttered mess of garbage is part of the set now, Herman? Are you serious? Please be serious with me. My character is disorganized yet brilliant. Well, your room is going to need to be organized brilliantly. If you get my drift. Now turn that silly camera rinky dink off. His mom could have really, really saved us from this movie existing. <laughs> yeah. Think about it. Yeah. And Quit Her wasting your fucking time and do yeah. your damn studies. And Herman, if I catch you on that internet, I swear to God. Artemis I and Cypher, yeah. Wow. Artemis and Cypher. This was written by a 14 year old. In the wreckage of a Sontar ship that exploded over Earth a few years back. Once we acquired it, only the high ranked government officials were allowed to use it. I mean, it's more efficient. You know, with I'm glad you kids TV. lived your dream and made this movie and all, but goddamn, does it suck. Yep. The back and forth between TJ and Paul is more interesting than the movie. Now, that's, that's kind, kind of, of the, the idea, dude. <laughs> that's a, kind of the idea. We're dude. trying to entertain you. This movie is trying to bore you to death. Which one will prevail? Stay tuned to find out. I'm going to go take a piss. We need to get this to as soon as possible. How fun. I announced that only so because I feel like it's going to be better than anything I've seen. Not yeah. Exactly. You're going to have more fun pissing than this movie will provide. I'm really looking forward to this piss. I really am. It's going to be a good piss. The president's located in a safe house in the middle of Stigler. On my way, Paul. Well, Jesus. Right, but uh, how do you intend for us to get there? Well, I figure we can use the teleporter. No, 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 no. Uh, Let's give him some time. Let's use TJ's uh, pee break as some time to let the plot breathe here. Uh, no, I'll, I'll take us there. All right, if you insist. But how does this machine of yours work anyway? 
Well, uh, I built it myself. It took four years to get it to work right. But uh, to explain it is simply Okay, impossible. never mind. This room exists in a dimension separate from the real world. Oh, here, like, God. When the door outside appears. Simple. That's genius. Oh. That's genius. Well, you know, but, uh, anyway, <laughs> that's me. The most genius fucking kid fashion. that ever fucking walked the earth. Uh, uh, no did I tell? Did I mention my 140 IQ? That's genius. That's not it. No. God, have you been carrying that this whole time? Oh, here it is. Got it. There you go. Um. Okay. Okay. Open the temporal destination placement program. Computer, open the temporal destination placement program. So now we've got to watch him troubleshoot a glitch in his TARDIS bullshit for half an hour? Great. Oh, you know what? You know what might have happened? You know why that's sparking? Maybe it's because you cut open a skull over it like fucking 15 minutes ago. What is that? What, this? Um... I this is my Doctor Who device. Something like that. So what did I miss? Wow, they literally just showed Doctor Who. Yeah, yeah, he's just ripping off Doctor Who. Um, a guy... Uh, using the prop Doctor Who wand that thing that his mom bought him for Christmas last like? year. Oh my god. No. Go away. Stop it. Oh my god. Stop it. I want the people to know the kind of intelligent shows I mean, that I watch. He's talking about the doctor as a real thing, but he's got a Doctor Who poster up right there, so how does that make sense? That says everything I learned in my life, I know from me, whatever. It doesn't matter. So he he lives in a universe where Doctor Who is real, but there's also a Doctor Who show. This might be able to help me remember. I'm afraid that's classified. I don't know what's going on, Sorry, dude. I'm I'm sick of life. I'm lighting this other cigarette. Yeah, please. Do you, you have a lighter? Oh yeah. Steve Chives is going to have a full chat bullshit. I don't care. Thanks for the five dollars, but I don't care about what Steve Shives is fucking doing. Yeah, he's the only thing I'd less like to watch than this. <laughs> this is turning Hello? into a fanfic. Where have you been for the last hour? We have a job to do. Yeah, this is just the Doctor Who fanfic segment. It's literally a Doctor Who Herbert West reanimator Return of the Living Dead fan film. And it sucks! <laughs> Pretty brilliant, dude. I don't like Doctor Who anymore. <laughs> I don't blame you. <coughs> Why is there a little miniature dildo on his goddamn keyboard? Why does he have to bike pump his TARDIS? I don't know. Who cares? Why does any of this have to happen ever? Steampunk a go go! Are my texts coming through? Yes. But. Huh. So where exactly are we going? I hope you're going to I hell. What? I can't, I can't hear you over the weebly woobly. <laughs> We're going down to Batman's was this movie ever sold on video? Jeez. No. Sort of Absolutely movie. not. Yeah, I know. Uh, I've been meaning to fix the calibrators for a while now. Just let me check in with the guards at the safe house to let them know that we're coming. Let me check in with the guards at the safe house real quick. Mm -hmm. the Easter eggs have hatched hey guards, what's up? How you doing? At the safe house over there. Yeah. The Easter eggs have hatched. Blah, 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 brain. Wow, blah, blah, blah. There must be more of them out there than I thought. There yeah, must be I more of them out there than I thought. 
Uh, what I hear, the population of Stigler has almost dropped to nothing. Unless you count zombies in the population. Shot, but I can't take them all on. Can't promise your safety. <laughs> so, <it> sounds like <sighs> I need my help. This is well, lame. <laughs> ah, lame, Let's lame, lame. Hold on, maybe he'll have a bunch of cool Doctor Who style weapons. How many rooms are in this machine of yours? I don't know. We've been in this one the whole time, so not many. Herman, this is not the machine. This is your room, okay? Send your little friend home. This movie isn't half bad. No, it's all bad. Okay. Check this out. You're a dork. <laughs> Oh, I love it. It's a great movie. I'm, I'm starting to feel this movie, dude. I'm starting to feel it. This is good. This is God's last ditch attempt to save TJ and Paul. Well, God truly has failed. Are you going to explain it to me? Yep. Everything in this movie, all the stupid little fucking things that don't exist, have to have their own ex explanation. Good to know. Good to know. Are you ready to go yet? Just about. Um, one last I remember time. seeing this in theaters. Yeah, sure you do. Is that the stool? Is a thing? What? What was that? Oh, this. Yes, a track. We've been using this to monitor your progress. You bugged me? Well, yeah. How do you think I kept finding you? You travel around a lot. Okay, I'm gonna forget you did that. Because the Someone said this is like one of those shitty YouTuber films from back in the early 2000s that should have died in production and never talked about again. You know, these kids though, they, they plowed through. <laughs> they yeah. plowed through to the completion. They did it. They shouldn't have. They got there. But they did. That's just how they roll sometimes, man. I don't know. You love this movie? Well, congratulations to you. Okay. Sweet. They're not even moving their mouths. He wrote a scene for his sisters. That's nice. Yeah. Here are some kids from the drama club wandering around. What? Uh, yeah, you really conveyed that without is that dialogue. Another, That's great. Was that another attempt at a joke that just didn't land? I think someone told him, like, there's too much exposition in this movie, so show, don't tell. And then he wrote that, and then, yeah. Etc. Yum, human. Are they supposed to be eating brains? They're just eating random parts. If this is a Return of the Living Dead film, the zombies are rubbing shit on a table. What is it? It's like icing or some shit. I mean, what is it? Is it supposed to be like gore? It yeah. just looks like a bunch of fucking Play-Doh. They've just been like... There used to be a whole body there, but now... They're all not left even left eating it. Mush. Yeah, they're just rubbing their faces in it. Okay. Wow. So they're acting like zombies. Okay. Yeah, it's not working. The zombies are not fooled. You don't smell enough like a zombie. This is one of the worst scenes I've ever seen. <laughs> Why don't you just inject them with some of that blue shit and make them smart? Yeah. Make them moral. Make that bitch remember her job at the KFC and shit. And be like, oh god, I gotta get back to KFC! <laughs> oh shit, they didn't fall for it, run! Alright, cool. People getting shot in the head, that's good. Hey guys, I don't know if you noticed, but this movie is not very good. 
say what? Yeah, shoot that bitch. Well, that's the highlight of the movie. Yep. There you go, guys. That's Welcome the to the high point. Bye, high point. A bitch getting shot in the head. Always good. Always fun. This scene will show the girls how cool I, I am. And how I can protect them, even though I'm smaller than the other guys. I knew there was a second barrel. I mean, I saw it on the fucking news earlier, but, you know, whatever. Stupid barrels. Oh, well, that's a great idea, dumb shit. I don't like this dumb barrel. I will kick it. Oh no, now it's gonna go off even though it already did, so what is the point of this? I wish that fucking heavy ass lid would have hit that kid right in the face. I could end this. You might want to not hang around or something, I'm like, or whatever. Let's not stay here. Let's go away from this location now. Because that trioxin gas will kill your ass if you breathe it in and you're alive and shit. It'll turn you into a zombie slowly. So both of you guys are zombified now. <laughs> Rubber mask! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, at least that guy kind of got into it and did that weird, creepy lick thing. Okay, that kind of ruins it. <laughs> He's like, ow, ow! Can I please wear shoes for this scene? No, zombies do not wear shoes. No use against this one. He's one of the original trioxin experiments. Okay. Listen. I need you to so he's one of the originals, so bullets don't work on him. They only work on the I new ones. What more so you made want? an artistic choice to make your zombies weaker than the original? Okay, whatever. Rock on. Yeah, rip his mask off. Let's see Whoa, who he, he really tore is. His eye out. This kid is a real deal. Why would this. Okay. I mean, his body's already falling apart. What would he give a shit about oh, one dude, less eye? He still had tender-ass feet, so that eye probably hurt pretty bad, too. Okay. That kid's never shot a gun before. Gross. You guys are just covered with pink body goo. He exploded in a pink mush. Hey, Artemis? Uh, are you okay? God. <laughs> well, uh, enough like movie. Exploded. Needs more tuba. Hey, you, movie. You did you like you go away now? Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa. Well, it was just a new formula that Doctor West was working on. That man is a genius. Mm, oh, sorry. Yeah, that's one word for him. That's one word for him. So, um. You, uh, Go away! You this movie die. sucks. Please. We at God least, damn it! End. It's not. It's you can't. You can't plead with a movie to end. <laughs> this movie is over when it it's, wants to the be over. The eye is today. attached to some yarn. Go uh, away. Would you mind if I kept that for my collection? It's not like it's his. Uh, you have a collection of disembodied eyeballs. Could I keep that for my fucking eyeball collection, please? Man, what a fucking well prepared doctor. Well prepared to do everything but make a watchable movie. <laughs> do do you collect body parts? No. Oh my god. I collect dead animals too. But everybody needs a hobby. Uh. You are sick. Uh, no, I'm a scientist. 
Dude, this movie well, is trioxin, like dude. This. Not all bodies reanimate. Just ask any zombie, like, sure. what did the makers of this film not have any of? Brains! So yeah. the There's literally the people top. just having a picnic in the background, dude. Yeah, it's just. Look at them. You see them back there? They just had a picnic table just oh, hanging yeah. out. Cool. As this big zombie apocalypse is going on, they're just kind of chilling at the picnic table. I think I understand now. Creature from the barrel that Tom Someone in the chat just said, at least there's no Christian shite. Honestly, I'd welcome it at this point. Yeah. I'd, I'd be like, okay, some proselytizing. Oh, Go ahead. Let's hear your theological message, movie. I want the other shoe the to drop at this point. Of <coughs> had a mental link with all the zombies it created. <coughs> the last cry for help is drawing them all Kevin here. Spacey would have loved to be in this movie. That's true. And you said the president was over there? I don't know. I think Kevin Spacey has better taste yeah. in young boys than this. <laughs> we'll have to Come on. Fight our way through. This is the and longest troll or not a troll. <laughs> this is not a troll. This is a zombie. Yeah. This is a zombie movie. Grab your airsoft gun and let's go. We've got more boring bullshit. This is a movie to. that should be dead, yet is alive. This dude has a TARDIS that'll teleport him anywhere. Why? Oh, stop it. Yeah, remember that? Remember that much better movie you could be watching? Well, instead you're watching this. Congratulations, you're a retard. This is ass, this is ass, this is ass. This is ass, this is ass, this is ass. Wow, it's like metal, listen. Wow, it's mixed in so well. Look at that! these kids just fucking smiling and laughing and shit. Yeah, this is the most fucking metal shit I've ever seen. Alright, so apparently this zombies have attacked this town of mostly children. Hey, a chick. Alright, now she's dead. That's the most thing. Dude, this is this is cringe fire right here. <laughs> this is fucking top shelf cringe. Look at that one in the background. <laughs> what the fuck? He like wandered in from a video game. Trioxin two four five. So the f the last day wasn't the last part. You got fucking. No, I mean it's this is still just the same scene. Okay. What? Zombie kids, zombie kids, we are zombie kids. Okay, rock on. Is this done? Are Dude. we done with this? Is this the end of the movie? I am a late myself on the pillar of cringe. <laughs> Is this Egghead's family? Did they do this? Their movies are even worse. Believe really? It or not. Worse than this? Yeah. Come on, dude. I'm serious, dude. You guys have built up that fucking Canyon Trail bullshit so much. You know much. what? I'll, I'll ask if we can have permission to do Canyon Trail on here. All right. I'll write to Egghead and see if he'll let us do it. Does it seem a little quiet around here to you? Yeah. Maybe there's a zombie out there, Does it seem a little quiet around here? Yeah, but I think it's just oh, wait, bad oh. audio mixing. Oh, we're finally at the part of the movie that we started at. Wasn't he supposed to have shot the president by this point? Without drawing any attention from the public. The president? What does the president have to do with this? The president is just behind these doors. Okay, so the so president of the United States is in a random. He's a zombie. Okay. The president Wait, of the United States got zombified somehow, and he's been working on the cure no, just so they can unzombify the president. Area. Okay, the I didn't know that was the plot. That, yeah. But, well. Good to know. See? One of us picked up enough about it, we, we were able to piece it together. I think you just paid more attention than I did. So there wasn't any more secure place to store the president than this? No, it was a, he's in a tractor trailer outside of fucking Vandenville, Mississippi. Okay. Let's see what the president looks like. I'm the president. So this is his dad. So his mom was the newswoman, and his dad is the president. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. 
Nah, dude, this is just this is just shop. Trump. <laughs> President Trump. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> they said Zump. Zump, yeah. I like Trump better. Than Zump as well. There you go, Trump. Yeah, definitely, kids, dad. <laughs> Calm down, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one amused zombie, dude. Dude, if you could, if you honestly had a button in front of you right now that would turn Trump into zombie Trump, but keep him in power, would you do it? Yeah, I would do it too. I just for the spectacle of it. I think zombie Trump would actually be better at running the country than animated Trump is. Dude, we should make that movie. Zombie Trump? No, just call it Zrump. Zrump. <laughs> we make a movie, you know, like he's meeting with his cabinet like, Sir, the climate change crisis is out of control. What do we need to do? Brains. Brains. Bring him the top scientists in the country. Brains. <laughs> I'm tremendous yeah. at eating brains. I know brains, okay? I've eaten a lot of the brains, a lot of the best brains of the best people in the world. I've eaten them, okay? Name a brain, and I've eaten that brain, okay? Einstein, I had a bite of his brain. He doesn't even look like a zombie, he's just old. <laughs> That's a good point. But at this point in the movie, who cares? Hello? President Gruber? Are you okay? President Gruber? Hans Gruber. How did a kraut get into office? What kind of horrible fucking <laughs> alternate future is this? Why is he in a dentist chair? Because uh, that's President what they could afford. I, I thought you were dead. Where am I? I you're in a tractor trailer. Where would where else would you be, Mr. President? I feel rather strange. Maybe you watched this movie? I don't know. Okay. Meanwhile, yeah. inside the president in inside of President Zrump. What the, the fuck the is this? zombie toxin is rezombifying. Oh, okay, so the It's only temporary. Ah oh, shit. It's turning back into Trioxin. <laughs> Trioxin is more powerful than blue shit. Has this guy ever never seen a zombie movie? Zombies don't go. <laughs> 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 Wait a minute. He was a zombie before and he couldn't break the chains. Okay. Whoa. They, they shot, shot the, the president. president. Now we're back to this. You remember the beginning? Yeah. Dude, he Tarantinoed it. It ends where it begins, dude. Yeah. It begins where it ends. <laughs> the movie is a cycle. This kid is fucking brilliant. I bet he's got an <laughs> IQ of, what would you say, at least? Yeah, I'm thinking... 130? No. No. You know what? 140. 140. 140. Yep. I was going to say 140. Definitely a 140 IQ film. Like, you know, the way... This is almost as intelligent as Rick and Morty. Almost, yes. Doing? Very close to being I of Rick and Morty level intelligence. He was going to kill us, Artemis. No he was gonna kill us, Artemis. That does it. What do you mean? Look, he smeared his grape jelly sandwich him. down the front of me like as I shot that. him. So he's just gonna use the same board. fucking scene again? Yep. You've seen what I've done. But now we're seeing it in a whole new light, you Paul. You're a witness. Now we've seen the context oh, of the yeah, scene. That's right. What are you doing? Just put that Actually, down. we got the scene the first time, so sorry, sorry. this is kind of pointless, actually. But, whatever, it's this movie, so what do you expect? But... Artemis, just I'm listen. sorry, Cypher Cringe. I'm on your side. I must betray you. Sorry. I'm sorry. I just have to kill you. Is he gonna use his retardus to get out of the fucking way? I don't know, dude. I hope so. What? Um, uh, 
Come on, movie. <laughs> oh, Levy, oh, this is important. This is the part where I make the girls cry about my character dying. They'll all be like, no, super sexy, high IQ, scientist, action star kid. Please don't die. Cypher cringe, no. <laughs> no. Please tell me he's not dead. No. Wait, he's going to inject himself with the zombie juice. Oh, my God. What a twist. What a twist. There's no way that guy could just shoot him again in the head. While he's doing this. No, he's just gonna let Cypher Cringe inject himself with That's why they show this in slow-mo, because in actuality he's doing this lightning fast. Yeah. Faster than the human eye. Okay, stop with the IQ shit. No, this movie literally rubs it in your face a hundred times yeah. and his IQ Fuck is 140, you. so suck a dick. It's a valid fucking area of discussion when the movie yeah. drives it home that hard. Well, you don't get to tell me what to what what observations to make about this shit. You go do your own little web show. Just, you know, watch this and do your commentary over it without any <laughs> IQ jokes. <coughs> Mary Sue, no! Yeah. Come on. Okay. I hope he reaches it, because even zombie him would be so fuckable. Mm. Come on, Cypher, no! Cypher and just a little the, further. And then all the girls in the school will start crying. Because they'll realize the pain. Not since old Yeller have I felt so emotionally affected by the end of a film. Oh shit. This is not is even... Is he gonna end hero, dude? This is not even one fifty millionth as dramatic as you think it is. This movie might have actually given me cancer. End... End. He's dead. End. End. It's time to end. The end. Finn. Roll credits. Is it going to be like he fell on one of the ones in his belt and it injected him? I don't know, dude. Dude, please just let him be dead. Yeah, close up the tractor trailer with the president's unguarded fucking corpse in it. All right, so here's... Remember this guy? Oh, God, no. <laughs> It's Artemis. Fartemis, oh, dude. Come on. Maybe there's still time. No, there's not. The end. Who are you? Where did That's you a good come question. I'm Jesus. I'll deal with you in a minute. This what? dork is gonna inject him. How do you know my name? Be quiet. Be quiet. I'm concentrating. Why don't you just shoot this guy See too? My face. You know my yeah. name. You've seen my grape jelly stain. Report me, aren't you? Report you to who? You know my face. You know my name. You've seen my grape jelly stain. <laughs> you must die. Your gun's out of bullets, bitch. Why would you throw the gun? Oh, that Cypher was hardcore. Was planet's only hope. Without him. It's Cypher was this planet's only hope? Dude, no bully. Why is there bullying in this film? No bully. Is what? it really just gonna keep going? I wanna play some like church music behind me sitting there dead, because so I really want the girls to know. People that I'm need gone. to know the impact of my very important death scene. Enough, Artemis Cypher kid. Oh, he's alive. Ooh, a zombie though. At the end. Is that the cliffhanger ending? Really? Check yeah. out Steam Power Productions' new YouTube series Cypher to find out what happens next. <laughs> no, nobody <laughs> went. Nobody. <laughs> oh my God. No, thank you. Well, that was, uh... So you made an hour and a half long cock tease for a show nobody's gonna watch. That entire hour and a half movie. Are we gonna get credits at least so we can see how many of your family members were involved in that? I don't know. I guess. Alright, so let's see if the kid wrote it. I'm 900,000% sure he did. Alright, so Cypher was played by Oliver Peters. Okay. 
Fox the impersonator? What? Somebody had a pseudonym on this project? Okay. Brooks Copland. So Mary Copland. A lot of the Coplands, I guess. So why are the why are, why are the Coplands spelled different though? Yeah, a lot more Coplands going on. Okay. Tons of Coplands. The Undead. Tarman James Zero Smith. President Gruber was played by Donald Holt. So I think that is. Wait, no. No, I guess it wasn't his. his what is dad. the kid's name again? Oliver something. Oliver Close Off, I think it was. <laughs> It was Oliver something or another. The horde of little girl zombies. Very impressive, scary horde, dude. Look how many fucking people were involved. I can swear I only saw like a grand total of 10 people. Nope. There was a lot more than you thought, Paul. Production team. Oh, there he is, Oliver Peters. They director, deleted their. Producer, ch someone yeah. checked the channel. Apparently, it's been deleted. Oh, that's a shame. Director, producer, yeah. Script written by Oliver Peters. I'm shocked. So he scripted, he directed, he produced. But he did all the special effects himself. Of course, he did. Patty Peters and John Scott are probably, you know, some friends of the family that chipped in. Someone said, dude, Cypher is ongoing. Someone just told us the channel's closed, dude. Oliver. Cypher is ongoing. So there's more of this? Are you shitting me right now? Do I'm we, gonna look this yeah, up. Yeah, we almost kind of have to go see it. I'm gonna see if I can find this Cypher shit. I mean, that's such a commonly used fucking thing. It's not just gonna come up. <laughs> You're right, what am I thinking? YouTube show. I don't see none yeah, of this. I don't think so, dude. I think we've been heartily rused with. Yeah. This is not, it's not ongoing. I mean, if it is, send us a fucking link, dude. Lag. Yeah, it's been kind of laggy towards the end here. Here's the list of titles that he ripped off and besmirched with this horrible fanfic, Mary Sue Nightmare. I don't think so, dude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're wrong about this being ongoing. I can't find anything <laughs> else. I can't find anything related to a show called Cypher. Filmed on location in Stigler, Oklahoma. Ugh. Stigler. I'm from Stigler. Guy who made the movie is here. No, he's not. And if he is, your movie sucked. I'm sorry. Look up Steam Power Productions. Cypher is there. Steam Power Productions, huh? Okay. Steam Power Productions. Uh oh, that, that first one there. Let's see. The Cypher series. <gasps> oh no. Say it ain't so. Let's see. Does it have a playlist? Cypher Prophecy of 13 teaser. Whoa. Cypher Darkness teaser. Where's the actual episodes of this shit? You gotta go watch them somewhere else or something? Maybe. Let's see. Cypher. Well, why is there a teaser for it, but then you don't... Cypher go, Cypher's going to space. Uh, sweet. Neat. Where's the fucking actual videos, though, of the episodes? I see all these teasers, but I don't see a place where you can actually look at the fucking content. Support the series on Patreon. Maybe you gotta be a patron to see the full episodes. Let's go find out. Zero patrons. That sucks. Damn. What do you get? Maybe we can patron patronize them and see some of this, some more of the shit. Oh, he's still working on the pilot. I guess. Oh, so it isn't even out? It's not even out. Oh. What do you get? Let's look at some of the tiers. Uh, uh, 
when I reach 30 patrons, I will post the pilot episode of the Cypher series. Okay. So far, he is at zero of 30, 30 patrons. What so. do you get for each tier? So at $5 a month, you get a personal thank you at the end of each video and a hug. Okay. Neat. Uh, That's the 15, zombie tier. you get mad science tier. You get a personal thank you at the end of each video, a shout out in the next update video. And trioxin immunity. Okay. For $20... Uh, you get a personal thank you at the end of each video, a role in the upcoming series if you're interested, and a shout out in the next update video. Wow, so you can actually be in cure tier. Oh my god, how long does how high does this go? Forty bucks is the top one. Yeah, what do you get for the top? You get a dollar? personal thank you at the end of the video. Yeah, a role in the upcoming series, uh -huh. a shout out in the next video update, a chance to win free stuff such as DVDs and posters scripts for each episode and access to behind the scenes test footage wow and so far zero takers shame yeah that is a shame that is a real well, fucking let's watch shame. the teaser yeah okay let's see what's going like what, what's let's the... go i'll just go back to the uh the youtube channel because there's a bunch of uh teasers here let's see the most recent one it's from it's only from a uh, a month ago uh-huh and it it has 17 views. Dude, this guy is really dedicated to making this cipher shit a thing. 32 views on this video. Okay. I misspoke. It said something otherwise on the first page. Oh, yeah. Well, YouTube is like that. All right. So here's the teaser for... He's CD. using that. I recognize this music immediately. This is some shit from uh, Incompetech. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mm hmm. The continuing adventures of Cypher. Wow. Has he actually gotten worse at filmmaking? This is one of the worst teasers I've ever seen so far. What are you teasing? <laughs> you can watch me slowly as fuck run down a s fucking terrible special effect hallway. You want to see my feet in slow-mo too? You're going to see my feet in slow-mo too. I went and pulled out all the stops on this one. Um... Coming soon to a YouTube's near you. Wow. All right. So your Cypher Prophecy teaser trailer. What you got this time? Are you going to show us another long, boring slow-mo scene of you walking? Apparently yep. you are. Neat. <laughs> God, this dude is way in love with slow-mo and dramatic music for things that are not dramatic at yeah. all. Hey man, and if you're thinking about taking our video down, you might get a few ironic patrons out of this, so. Yeah, seriously. So don't, don't fuck with us. We're one of like 32 people that have even watched your fucking shit, dude. Come on. Yeah, we're giving you some ex much needed exposure here. Yeah. You should love us. Some fan feedback, dude. Uh, I like this. This is kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, you know, I mean... Whatever, I like the dragons attacking and shit. Can you get rid of the slow-mo and just do the bad special effect there? I mean, you know, I don't know. It's better than you in your damn room with circuit boards tied to the wall. Yeah, dude. Dragons destroying the city. I mean, I don't know if we need so many shots of your dopey, amazed <laughs> face, but whatever. Yeah, like cut, right? Right five yeah, seconds cut, ago. Cut like about 20 seconds yeah. ago, let's be honest. Yeah, see? More dragons. More dragons, less this. Yeah, more dragons destroying the city, less of your dopey ass face. And you got something here, Cypher. Cypher cringe. Cypher cringe. Dude, I'm gonna actually consider becoming a patron of Cyphers, dude. Yeah. I wanna see I wanna see episode one. I wanna see it too, kinda. Like all we gotta do is get this dude to 30 fucking patrons. Yeah, not not that hard of a task. So like if you guys even wanna go uh visit Cyphers fucking what is the name of his channel? Steam shit? Something. You could go back and see it. Yeah. 
It's uh, you know, go check out his Patreon and get him to thirty subscribers. It's thirty steam powered productions. There you go. Yeah. Go support Cipher the series. Yeah, let's at least see, you know, the fucking s- s- episode one of the new series. You yeah, know, you I know. Mean? I mean, we give it a shot. We get him there. Get us more. Give us more fodder for these. Go you know, help Cipher become a thing. We'll cover it. We'll we'll judge it against the uh, the movie. You know we'll what I mean? See how Cipher has progressed in the intervening years. I'm dude. fine with that. Not worth it. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. I don't know, man. <laughs> I kind of want to see more of. I want to see uh, the new Cipher, dude. Yeah. I want to see Cipher Cringe's ongoing adventures. And remember, for twenty dollars, you can be in an episode of Cipher Cringe. I always get really sad when I see somebody has a Patreon that has like straight up zero people on it. Just to put that into perspective, Brett Keen's Patreon yeah. is higher. Yeah, he's got like four patrons that are giving him a buck a month. You know what I mean? Or some shit. His patron is down? No, it's not. I just was there. I just looked at it. Yeah, we were just at it. We were just at the fucking Patreon, dude. It's up there, dude. Come on, buddy. 140 IQs. Yeah, 140 IQ. Yeah, it's good stuff. Anyway, so that was uh, Reanimator of the Living Dead. The, uh, I guess the, the first part the of first the first entry in the Cypher saga. Yeah. And possibly, uh, I mean, really not the worst movie we've ever seen here. No, not by a long shot. But Not uh, the best either. Yeah, definitely tough to get through. Uh, Overstate its welcome by a solid hour, I would say. <laughs> yep. Overstate its welcome by a solid however long it was. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, too many scenes in one fucking room. Way too much dense expository dialogue that was not interesting. Yep. Way too many adult roles inexplicably being played by kids. Yeah, that was weird. Stupid. Sucked. And just fucking outright sucked. Yep. Um, on a plus side, some of the the sets were kind of cool in a like low budget sort of you know kind of way. Like he he could have, you know, it wasn't like evil cat levels of just like not giving a shit. Yeah, it wasn't that level of inaptitude. But it it but was about the only thing that any real passion seemed to be put in. Evil cat was better though. Evil cat was better by far. Yep. I would much rather see a sequel to Evil Cat, but it took them 18 years to do the first one, so... I don't know. I'd take Don't a, hold your breath. I'd take a peek at the continuing adventures of Cypher Cringe, dude. Uh, yeah, I think it was good enough. It entertained... I mean, 1,200 people stuck with us most of this shit. Yeah, most, that's true. A few hundred cleared out in the last five minutes or so, but whatever. Okay, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for supporting us with uh, Super Chat and all that bullshit. And uh, tune in next Thursday. We're going to do an episode of Pitch Wars. We might do Star Wars, not sure yet, something like that. Uh, And then the Thursday after that, we'll be back with another edition of Cynics vs. Cinema. Yep. Stay tuned. Thank Thank you, everybody. Good night. I guess he got two patrons off us, so he can't blame us. Apparently. Sweet. Apparently. Thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate it. See you next week. Not with this show, but with uh, Pitch Wars. Pitch Wars. That's the one. Thank you.